Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So what I thought I would do for you today is do um a look, but I get so many like requests to see my makeup collection um, and also my um, professional kit, which I'm gonna do a whole video on at some point. I'm just like, I'm just kind of too scared to open it. I haven't opened it since this whole worldwide situation. But what I thought I would do for you today is, I have two separate kits, so my YouTube and my professional kit. Everything you see me use on these videos and on Instagram is my YouTube kit. Um, so what I thought I would do is take you through my YouTube kit in kind of different blocks. And what I'm gonna start with first, cause you know, tis the season, is my Halloween spooky themed makeup, which is something I gravitate to quite naturally um, and have to buy anything with Halloween themed or um, horror themed um, makeup. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a look using some of the palettes because I don't just wanna sit here talking about them at you. But just before we get into that today, I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor of this video and that is ShopTagger. So ShopTagger has been the most incredible tool for me when it comes to buying products um, and buying palettes and buying, buying things I just want to buy. And especially around this time of year for me, Halloween, when all these amazing Halloween-y themed, spooky themed palettes come out, I wanna keep track of all the ones I want to buy. I was going on Instagram and saving the posts, but for me, that kind of just gets lost amongst all my other saved posts, and then I forget I saved it, and then the product I want completely leaves my mind. However, Shop Target is a tool that I can put all those palettes and all those products into, and it will remind me that I want to purchase these products. Not only that, but it tells me when these products come back in stock or when they go on sale. So you can bet I'm waiting for the end of October for some of these products to drop in price, and Shop Target will notify me when that happens. I actually received a notification recently that something I have wanted for a very long time, an eyeshadow palette, has actually just gone on 20% off, so you bet I ordered that straight away. It's also something where I add my products that I buy all the time, so my go-tos, my regular concealers, my eyeshadow primers, my foundations, things that I might need to stock up for my kit as well. And again, it tells me when those go on sale and I can maybe buy two or three at a time and save myself some money. So ShopTag itself is so easy to use and it's absolutely free to download. It's as easy as going to a website, finding a product that you want, and clicking the shop tagger button. And then the little side window will pop up. Say for example, it's a foundation. You can choose the shade, you can choose the um, size, for example, if it comes in different sizes. So it's very precise and that way shop tagger gets the exact product that you want and notifies you when that exact product is on sale or in stock. And another way to be notified about your favorite products going on sale is by downloading the Shop Tagger app and turning on those push notifications on your phone and Shop Tagger will send you a notification as soon as anything changes. One incredible feature of Shop Tagger is the separate list that you can divide all your favorite items into. I have a homeware list, I have a makeup list, I have a Halloween list, and I'm gonna start adding my Christmas list, um, not gifts for me, like decorations and things like that. So I have all these subcategories and I can go and check those out each time and see what I need to buy, what I want to buy, has anything changed, have any prices changed. You can also view coupon codes on ShopTagger. Now I love a good discount, so to get that little bit extra discount is absolutely incredible. So ShopTagger have also just added a cashback feature. So you can actually earn cash via PayPal when you shop with selected retail partners. So go ahead and check out the link I'll leave below in the description box for you and download ShopTagger. All right guys, so let's get straight into this now. I'm gonna start with, it's mostly I shadow palettes I have. So I'm thinking red because uh, I have the red contact lenses. Um, these are from Olens and so are the ones in my, um, this picture. I'll leave a link to them also. Let me just start off with two palettes that I'm not going to use today, but I absolutely love. And it's one of my favorite brands actually. And these are from Spoiled Lips Cosmetics and you've seen these. If you follow me regularly, you've seen these. So this, I bought, this is the first thing I've ever bought from this brand. Um, because I, I mean, just look at it. It's like my whole life in one palette. I absolutely adore, adore packaging. For me, packaging is a big sale sales aspect. It, get, it, it makes me buy things, basically. And then inside, you have all these incredible colors. The shades that initially kind of got me hooked on this palette was this green and this orange and this purple. I instantly got like Halloween-y vibes from it. And I have to be honest with you, when I first bought this, I bought it and I was like, okay, it's gonna be fine, I'll use it. But after using it, 
I absolutely love the formula of these eyeshadows. They're absolutely incredible. So, so smooth, so nice, so much better than um, higher end brands that I have used also. And the glitters are absolutely incredible. There's like a gel glitter here and you can use the um, pieces of glitter individually or just, you know, swipe. But I absolutely love this palette and a little highlighter there. Just look at this and you're gonna see inside and this is my palette altogether. All these purples, all these amazing shades. This black like glitter and this duotone like pinky blue. Or oh, you can only really see the pink there, the blue there. But it has like this purpley, um, bluey tone to it. And then there are two highlighters here as well, which work great as eyeshadows also. I absolutely love this brand. I have um an affiliate link with them and a discount code, which I didn't um before. They actually approached me after I reviewed their palettes and I was like, of course, I love your brand. Of course I will. So you're more than welcome to use that. I'll leave that below for you also. So one of my absolute favorite brands, especially for packaging, <laughs> is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. These are some of their eyeshadow palettes and they just have this amazing, again, amazing packaging, that bat mirror of the phases of the moon here, all the details on the inside of this palette. Look at this little rabbit. Mm, it's a little UFO, so cute. But two of my absolute favorite palettes for them is a Vampira palette. There she is, right on the front there, looking incredible. And then we have a lovely picture of her right on the inside and these beautiful, beautiful shades right here. And right here, I don't know if you recognize this, is that iconic scene from that not so iconic movie. Well, I guess it is. Just amazing, amazing, um, texture as well. And the pigmentation is insane. This is the Elvira palette from them also. And look at this. Woo! I mean, if anything was going to make me buy it, it has to be some pop-up things inside a palette. And we have some great, great shades there. I'm actually going to take this shade right on the end of this deep red called Aunt Morgana. And I'm just going to start to use that through my sockets. Well, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to go on a super unleaded, which is this shade here, which kind of looks like a blush shade, but um, that's fine. They just go on so smoothly and they're so easy to blend. I'm actually going to put that palette to the side because I might come back to that and use it. Still sticking to Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I also have the Take My Heart palette. This is so cute. The lid just comes straight off like that. And we have this really nice wearable palette. It kind of looks like from a packaging, you're like, um, oh, I'm not really going to use that. But we have these really nice neutrals inside. And this bloody Valentine shade is so stunning, that deep, deep purple. Another palette from them is the Descendant palette. And this is, I haven't used this yet. I just got this new recently. And again, we have that incredible bat mirror and then all these lovely neutral, like kind of grayish tones. I really, really like that kind of dark aspect to this brand. And let me just finish up with this brand with these um, contour, but oh, I have to say my favorite powder. This is a new one. I just stocked back up on it because my other one's running out. Um, but this is a mystifying, mattifying, high definition, micro finish pressed powder. It is the most incredible soft powder. If you don't like those heavy, heavy baking kind of powders, this one is so smooth and so incredible on a skin. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, my favorite powder. I'll look into these a little bit later, but these are also from the same brand and these are contour books. We're gonna use those. So uh, the next palette, this is from VH Cosmetics. This is a drop dead gorgeous full on crazy palette. This is from this year and I haven't actually used it yet. I don't think I've used their eyeshadow. So this will be interesting. This is a palette right here. So this looks really nice. I haven't even swatched it. Let's use this V, v Amped. Let's call it vamped, you know? Let's not try and be crazy. And let's just get right into these bits here. Jesus, that is pigment. <laughs> My God, I didn't expect that much pigmentation to come out. That's incredible. Let's see how it blends out also, because it's easy to get like pigment on the eye, but to blend, let's see. So I'm just gonna like diffuse the edges here and blend them out as far as possible. I'm still leaving that gap in the middle. I still wanna keep the shape kind of round. I'm not trying to go for a wing like I usually do. Wow, I've never used BH Cosmetics before and now, BH Cosmetics, you are on my radar. I love this. Stunning, it, the, the color stays, which is really great. I hate when you're using an eyeshadow that has intense color and then you go and blend it out and it's all disappeared, you know? But this is keeping it true to color. Oh, I think I have some shopping to do after this. <laughs> very impressed. Very, very impressed. That looks, yeah, BH Cosmetics. Who would have thought? Some of you probably already know, but mm. I can't wait to use the rest of those colors now. I'm getting those purples. Just an honorary mention here is the Luna Beauty Moon Spell palette. So apart from the packaging of this being obviously 
incredible and my absolute favorite thing ever. This kind of style, this black and gold and all this business going on. The texture of these are really, really nice. I have, I think I have every Luna Beauty palette apart from the Greek ones, like the ancient Greek ones. And I just love it. I absolutely love the texture. I love the texture. I love the colors inside. Absolutely stunning. This is how you do a good Halloween palette. You got all the names after like witches from TV shows or films. I really, really like this palette. I love the theme and I, I love the texture. I'm not going to use it today just because we're focusing on reds today. I also want to show you this palette from Revolution. This is a Haunted House palette. I bought this because of the, obviously the palette itself. Revolution texture, I'm hit or miss with. This is actually a nice texture. I've used this before. Um, this house on the front here is my absolute dream home. I would love like an old mansion you know? I actually, I'm a Patreon for Christine McConnell, if you're not familiar with her. She is absolutely incredible. Just everything she does is just, I don't know, it's like, why is my life not like that? And she recently moved into this house, which is exactly that, like this old mansion. And it's just, it's just stunning. It's just absolutely incredible. So that's my dream home. Even if I have to build one, I'm going to make one. <laughs> I also have the Revolution Nightmare Before Christmas. I have Jack and Sally. And honestly, this sounds really strange, but I just feel like there's too many eyeshadows in here for it to be good. <laughs> this is the Sally one right here. I do like that it has these like dividers on each side. So each, um, the shadows don't kind of like dust into, dust into themselves, into each other. But I'm not gonna use these right now. I actually, maybe I don't plan on using them. I'm sure there's some great reviews elsewhere. Just, just the packaging, just Disney. That's all, that's the only reason I wanted it. So I also have the Beauty Bay. This is the Book of Magic palette. I got this yesterday, so I haven't used it. But just look at that. Mm, everything there is amazing. Why aren't I doing a purple look today? I might try and use that black from the palette because I know their formula is really nice and the black will perform really well. So this is the LA Splash um, Classic Horror palette. I bought this for packaging and I used it and it's one of the worst formulas I've ever used in my life, but I'm keeping it because this packaging is amazing. I love the classic horror films. So to have like this really cool, like all female cast of classic horror monsters, I absolutely love that idea. Um, so this is incredible. I, I really, really like this. I think they, don't they do this all the time? I don't know. I also have, the, I'm, I'm gonna carry on doing this look, but I also wanted to show you this Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty. This looks absolutely incredible. I'm gonna be doing a look with this on Monday. So I'm gonna save it till then. I'm not gonna go much into it. Okay, so let's carry on with this eye look. So I'm gonna go into the Book of Enchantment. Ooh, and this is from Spellbound Beauty. I'm gonna be using their highlighters later on. It's one of my absolute favorite textures of highlighters. So I'm gonna go into, let's use a shade. Obviously, I've obviously used this before. I want to use Incantation, which is this deep kind of like burgundy red almost, just to darken up these corners. I'm gonna build that up in the outside corner here. I don't want it to be pitch black yet. We'll add black. Also, the texture of these eyeshadows are amazing and the packaging, I could buy this packaging and not really care what the texture was, but it's an added bonus that um, the eyeshadows actually work really well. And actually both times I use this palette, I've used it with, um, alongside other brands and it's worked really kind of like harmoniously with the other brands also. All right, so let's go back into our Beauty Bay Book of Magic and I'm gonna use the black, is it called? It's called Hex. And let's just tap that right on its outside. The Beauty Bay formula is really good. You really don't need that much. It's weird to say, but the, the texture's almost like creamy, creamy matte. It's very easy to work with as well. So I'm gonna go back into my Elvira palette. I'm gonna go for the shade Bone, which is this white just here. I'm just gonna over highlight under a brow. So for the middle of the lid, the same brand, Spellbound Beauty, who did that amazing book, do these highlighters that are little crystal balls. How cool is that? They are so cool. There's three shades and they are very um, versatile and they cover every skin tone, which is great. I'm gonna go in with the shade, what's this called? Starlight. I'm gonna use it on the center of my lid. I'm gonna tap it on first and I'm just gonna grab a blending brush and just dust away the edges. So we get more, more of like a spotlight finish. So you see where the black is and how it kind of has that harsh line. I don't like that. So I'm gonna go back in with Incantation from the um, Book of Enchantment palette. And I'm just gonna fade just right on the edge ever so gently. Let's get on my skin. I don't have any um, like Halloween themed face. So, so I'm just gonna go with my Rare Beauty foundation, which I've been loving and using anyway. So 
So I'm going to take my mystifying, mattifying powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Lab. I just tap that in areas where I know I get a little bit shiny, a little bit oily. And you'll see it's nothing crazy. It's not like this heavy, heavy powder. It's this really nice natural blurring powder. So I'm going to go back into the Book of Enchantment and I'm going to take Incantation again. Run it under the eyes. Blend that in as far down as possible. Get those eye bags back after ruining them with a concealer. I'm going back in with Hex from my Beauty Bay palette. I'm leaning this far forward because I've done my face and now I don't want any fallout happening. Hope that right there get a bit of a tired look going. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go in with the highlights of Spellbound Beauty. This is a different shade, this is Moonlight. It just gives off this incredible shine. But when I used it before, I kind of carried on buffing it in with a brush and it just went like a little bit more natural. That's what I really like about those highlighters. They're very versatile. So I flashed these up on the screen earlier and these are the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour palettes. So this is, this is one and two. So this is volume one, has this cute little mirror inside, but these are the shades inside this palette. They're very gray and neutral, and then you kind of have these like pinky tones as well, and they're a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter. Volume two then goes a little bit deeper with tone and a little bit deeper with shades. I love these grays. I love that there is pure gray in a contour palette. This is great for like cosplay people, I reckon, so you can get that really um, sculpted look, both of these palettes. I'm gonna go through this shade here and kind of use that to sculpt and contour. Because we're being vampy. Did I say that already? This is meant to be like a vampy look. I don't think I ever said that. I want to be very cold and sculpted. This is the first time I've used this um, contour texture. It's pretty good, I like it. And then I'm gonna use, again, it's from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. <laughs> I just love their stuff. This is the lipstick in the shade Bruja, which is this really nice gray pink tone. Oh, it smells amazing. It's like raspberry, but watermelon together. It smells so good. So I don't have any like spooky eye pencils. So I'm just gonna take the Makeup by Mario um, Master Pigment Pro Pencil and just run that through the bottom waterline here. I kinda wanna look more into these contour palettes and see all the other shades. I absolutely adore these greys. I, I wanna make my whole face gray. I'm, gonna try, I'm just gonna try this gray here. That's like pure gray, let's do it. Love it. I'm gonna keep that to the outsides of my face. I think I want to be gray always. Okay, I'm gonna stick on some lashes and then be right back. Okay, so this is our finished vampy look. I didn't explain that's what I was doing for a whole thing, <laughs> but um, I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite, favorite, favorite things that I have in my makeup collection that are kind of like Halloween inspired or horror um, inspired. Um, and I hope to share some more things with you. I also forgot I got this little brain case from um, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs and you can just put like stuff in there. I just thought it was really cute. So that was a look at some of the um, pieces in my collection. I hope to do this more with other videos and kind of group them together like I did just then in different kind of themes. I want to say a huge thank you again to Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. Like I said, I will leave a link below in the description box for you to go ahead and check them out and download Shop Tagger. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you very soon. Bye.